Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we continue with restricted cash and we'll talk about compensating balances. In the video restricted cash, I mentioned that examples of restricted cash may be cash set aside for things such as planned expansion, retirement of long-term debt, or compensating balances. If you haven't had a chance to watch the restricted cash video, I'm posting the link here and in the description below. Let's take a closer look at the compensating balance. A compensating balance is a minimum deposit a borrower must maintain in a bank account. It can be against either short-term or long-term borrowings. If it is against short-term borrowings, a company would report it in current assets as cash and cash equivalents. If it is against long-term borrowings, it would be reported as non-current assets in either the investments or other assets section. The purpose of the compensating balance is to reduce the lending cost for the lender. The lender can invest the cash located in the compensating bank account and keep some or all of the proceeds. The borrower may be granted a somewhat lower interest rate. However, the borrower is also paying interest on a net loan balance that is smaller than the amount of the loan. So the effective interest rate for the entire arrangement is higher. A borrower who has entered into a compensating balance arrangement may need to disclose this situation in the notes to the financial statements if the amount is material. A borrower would typically add a caption to denote cash on deposit maintained as a compensating balance. Let's take a look at an example of a compensating balance. Assume you are interested in purchasing a franchise from McDonald's and need to borrow $200,000 for one year. The bank has approved a loan for you at an interest rate of 6%. In addition, the bank requests that you keep $20,000 in the bank as a compensating balance related to your loan. The total loan balance is $200,000. However, the available amount for the business to use is only $180,000, which is the total balance of $200,000 less compensating balance of $20,000. Why do you think the bank requires a compensating balance from you? The bank will require this compensating balance for two primary reasons. One, in the event of collection problems, the bank now has your $20,000. Secondly, to cover loan servicing costs. The bank is effectively charging you more than 6% as you are paying $12,000, which is $200,000 multiplied by 6% for a loan of $180,000. The interest rate is 6.7%, $12,000 divided by $180,000. That's all for today. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please subscribe, hit that like button and ring the notification bell so you are notified when we release more videos like this. Visit my channel for more videos on financial and intermediate accounting. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope to see you all again in the next video.